So today I wanted to come and do a drinking wet feeding with Layla. Um, it was actually a comment that I got that I wanted to address the comment. So I figured being that the comment involved drinking wet babies, I would just do a drinking wet cleansing feeding combination and also explain and go into details of my um, knowledge and experience on having a drinking wet doll in my collection for three years. I've had Layla now for three years. Um, this month, July 6th, made three years and over the three years i definitely if you've been following me for a while from my old channel to this channel you definitely have seen me feed layla many times on camera um she is a baby that i feed on and off camera um, I will definitely every now and then give her drinking wet feedings off camera as well. And I have had no issues with her drinking wet system. And she's not the only drinking wet baby I have, mind you. I've had a few at this point that have drinking wet systems. And I feed my dolls water let me say that I feed them distilled bottled drinking water um or even sometimes just regular bottled water not necessarily distilled it could be purified drinking water but it is recommended to give her um distilled drinking water so I try to more stick to that but um I also have my Willow Asleep Boy. I've had over a year now as well, and I've fed him numerous times. He has a drinking wet. Um, and I haven't had any issues with my babies, with Mo, there's little Miss Layla. So Layla has um, the drinking wet system, as I said. She also is a one-piece pour with the wobbly neck, as you can see. She is just adorable um she has amazing silicone she has like the textured silicone where it looks and kind of feels like skin it looks like flesh when you look at her up close and even on camera to me she looks like flesh she really does and she feels amazing to hold she also has the squishy tummy which i'll show when i change her and she has a spine in her back that you can feel. She has a lot of the, the newer like features that you want in your full body silicone. Okay, and I forgot I didn't tighten this bottle. <laughs> okay, so I already put the distilled drinking water in here and I'm gonna be using my cute little event bottle again this is i love these bottles i have a pink one also that i use so what i'm going to do i'm not going to just be giving her water this time i'm going to be doing a cleansing alcohol cleansing drinking wet feeding so when i do okay i need to open the bottle again and i hope i don't spill it but it has four ounces of water in there. As you can see, I'm gonna just sit it over here so that way I don't spill it. I'm not gonna sit it on my bed. 
and I have 70% alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, basically rubbing alcohol. I also use 50%. You don't have to use 70%. I've used both. But this time, what I'm going to do, I know this alcohol is on drip, so I'm going to put it over this blanket. Um, I did a cap full. I poured it in the cap. Because usually I don't really use a cap to measure it. I just pour a little bit in the water. But since you guys are watching and you might want to know to have an idea how much I'm putting. And I didn't even put all of it. It seems like a lot for a cap full. I put like half the cap. Because you don't need a whole lot. And then I'm going to pour the rest back in the bottle. So we did a half a cap full of the alcohol mixed in i like to mix it in the water i never give her straight alcohol and i don't even know can you do that i was told to just mix a little bit in the bottle of water and that's how i've been doing it for three years what this does and i had another drinking wet baby i always forget about her <laughs> Um, I didn't have her long. She was by another artist and I had her for a little while before I decided I just love the drinking wet system and I wanted uh, this baby when I went after her. So I let go of the first one. But when I had the first baby, the mommy, and this is liquid KY lubricant water-based gel or liquid. This one is actually a liquid. I'm going to put a little drop of that on the nipple it's safe and you don't have to get the ky brand you could get any brand as long as it's water-based to put the bottle nipple in their mouth so it's not rubbing all on the paint and everything the gloss or whatever on their lips that just kind of helps it go in easier i'm going to put this under her because she might dribble a little bit and of course what was i going to say okay I had another drinking wet baby before Layla and that baby when I had got it I got it off of eBay and in the, the description the mommy said that she had given that baby formula baby real baby formula to drink which usually isn't recommended but some people do it is up to you what you want to do but I only give my babies water to drink so she you know disclosed in the, the listing that she had given the baby real baby formula and I still bought the baby anyway because she was honest she said she had given her formula she even had a picture with her feeding her the formula in the bottle in the you know that the description and the, the, the listing had a picture so of course I messaged her and asked before I purchased the baby um, did the baby have any odors or anything being that she had fed her real formula because I was concerned about that and she said no she didn't smell anything the baby was fine and this and that so I took my chances and got the baby and I had heard someone else say they use alcohol as a cleansing and if there is any mold or anything in there the alcohol brings it out and i did check with this baby's artist and i found out she said the alcohol is safe to use to do like a little test to see if they have mold so you could use this if you get a, a drinking wet baby on the secondary market and you just want to kind of test out their system and make sure there's no mold in there the alcohol will draw out the mold if there is any inside of the tubing in the baby so i did the alcohol test i'm gonna try to move this camera closer to her and hopefully it doesn't fall because i have it on my bed um and now it looks like it wants to tilt forward because it gets heavy when you kind of bring it down my my phone is heavy but yeah so i got the baby home i didn't smell anything on the baby the baby smelled fine but just to test it out 
I went ahead and did the little alcohol in the water test cleansing and sure enough that baby did have mold in it but you couldn't smell it there was no odor so I'm happy I tested it out and I did the little alcohol cleanse and sure enough it the alcohol drew the mold right out of that baby's tubing I did it like two or three times to make sure she was all cleaned out um, just a little bit of mold she had surprisingly being that the mommy was feeding it real formula she didn't have a whole lot of you know a lot of mold in her and the little bit that was in there came out so if you are thinking of buying on the secondary market and the baby has a drinking wet system and you kind of just want to test it out when you get the baby home and make sure there isn't any mold you can put that little alcohol in the water feed the baby and if any mold is in there definitely it will come out um this baby i hardly do an alcohol cleanse i do it every now and again on her every few months i'll do it and so far this baby like i said has not had any mold whatsoever she has no odor she's fine her drinking wet system is not clogged it works perfectly fine um i've been feeding her even more a few times off camera in the past week or two and she is perfectly fine everything all systems are a go <laughs> so now the reason i went through all of that and i'm doing this cleansing on camera with you guys as a demonstration and also just to share it if people want to know how to cleanse their drinking wet doll or test them out for mold see if they have mold the reason i'm going through all that is to share it and also to share it for information and also to share my experience with having a drinking wet doll and when i tell you these things i'm telling you based on me experiencing it do actually feeding my baby having it for three years in my collection so i can tell you it's a test over time not just the baby i had for a half a minute and then i didn't have it no more i've had this baby for three years and she's only been with me she was custom made for me so with that being said the reason i'm going through all of it is because someone commented under the last one of the videos i recently did with layla and i was talking about the drinking wet system and the person commented under the video and said that they read somewhere that the um even if you give them water is still liquid or whatever and it's going to mold in the doll because it's liquid even if it's just water basically is what she was saying so you notice i said she said she read it somewhere now she's disputing me under my video and this baby drinks so well <laughs> but that bottle is empty guys you see that you see how fast she drunk that water didn't really dribble nothing she was serious my baby be thirsty is hot she's like i need a drink of water <laughs> she she did play um but yeah so they said they read it somewhere so basically they are disputing what i said and i actually have the baby here you see me feeding her and on that video i believe i was doing a drinking wet feeding too you didn't see me feed the baby you see i got the baby i didn't had this baby for three years and you gonna tell me that you read it somewhere that they gonna get mold and i'm telling you as i have been feeding this baby actually feeding her sharing it on videos when i feed her a lot of times you, you guys see me feeding her changing her diaper and all that and she has no mold i'm telling you based on my experience not just something i read somewhere that's the difference and that's the point i'm trying to make and i wanted to just do this little demonstration on camera with layla so you guys can also see with me another little alcohol test i just did on camera with her to see does she have any mold in her diaper because when you give them the water and the alcohol it's going to bring up any mold if they do have any it's gonna come up well out <laughs> not up it's gonna come out into their diaper so we're gonna see in a minute when i change her 
So now, after I do a drink and wet feeding, and anytime I feed my babies, you guys know I birth them. Even if it's a fake feeding and they ain't drink nothing, I'm just kind of role play feeding them, they ain't drinking. I, I just have to birth them. It, it's just a natural motherly thing. I have real kids, so like anytime I fed them, I was burping. So now I got to burp my dolls too. I have to. I just don't feel right about it if I don't burp them. <laughs> And especially with the drinking wet babies, it helps the liquid to go down when you burp them. Layla has actually burped a couple of times where I can hear it. And like sometimes she'll make a little bubble out of her mouth of water. And you could tell that she burped like she had air in her system. So when they get the air out and you burp them and you're patting them, it just helps that water to go down and come out into their diaper. So I really burp them when I actually do a drink and wet feeding. So that's why you see me really burping her like she a real baby because they need to be burped. Okay, so the camera, eventually it did fall. And it was acting like it wanted to fall for some reason. I don't know if I have my tripod wrong today. But I'm going to just undress her out of her little onesie. I finally did put her in this little front snap onesie that came in her box opening. I had showed it and it has um, her sculpt name with the little rattle on the chest that says Denia. And I love this little onesie. I've had it on her for like at least a week. So I'm going to take it off and put her in an outfit today. But I really love my babies like to be dressed comfortable and like babies sometimes. And I don't really want them like in a dressy outfit. So that's why she had that on. But I'm going to go ahead and dress her. But this is her little belly and this is more for people who did not see this baby before you could be new to my nursery and that is her little wrinkly self love this baby silicone and she has like the newborn little cord stump um she's very flexible and soft and bendable and she has the squishy tummy if you can see me squeezing it and pushing down on it she feels wonderful she feels like a real baby she really does she really really is very close to a real baby in my opinion having her in my collection and having real children five real babies of my own she is definitely so close she feels really ultra realistic very close to it, like a real newborn human baby live baby would feel she she looks and feels to me like a real baby so this is her spine back here and you can actually feel it in there but it's not overly like where it doesn't look natural when you look at her back it looks natural so now we gonna lay her down that's her wet diaper as you can see that stripped on turn green she definitely needs a change so let's see, can I turn this darn camera without dumping it over again? Hopefully it can stand up here. So it looked like it's getting ready to pour down rain. It's so hot and humid again today and it's starting to thunder outside. So we're gonna take off her little hand mitts. Most of the time, um, my babies stay in hand mitts pretty regularly. It just protects their fingers. It protects the paint and stuff on their fingers from rubbing on them and their clothes and the bed and all of that stuff. When you holding them, I feel like those hand mitts protect that paint on their little fingertips. And like I said, Layla is three years old and not any paint is missing off of her anywhere nowhere and she has no shiny spots and that is what i love about the texture she has on her um it really protects her paint and the mat the way she's done she just doesn't have any shiny spots after three years i don't know how she's done 
but it, she's not smooth. She actually has this texture and you can feel it. And it looks, it makes her look like skin when you look at her and she has no shiny spots anywhere. So we're gonna change her into a pamper. These are newborn pampers. And you know what? Well, I guess I'll put another pamper. I did have an honest diaper out for her too, but I'll put a pamper. I had this one. I forgot I took this out too because I wasn't sure do I want her in a pamper or an honest diaper, but I will put her in another pamper. Because what I also do, as I said, after drinking wet feedings, for those of you who watch me, I usually, I'm going to change her now. And then I'm going to check her in about an hour from now. I'm going to sit her up in her little bouncy seat like I always do. Make sure all the water comes out of her. Because I believe she has like a reservoir where all the water doesn't just come out sometime at once. This is most of the water. I'm pretty sure all of this heaviness of this diaper that she drank pretty much came out. But sometimes she will pee pee or wet her diaper a little more. So I usually check her. I let her sit up for about an hour, check her again, and change her diaper again. So I'll just put her in this diaper for now because I'm probably going to just change her out of it again in about an hour. So that's how I usually do with the drinking wet feedings. But yes, so as I was saying, that's what made me want to do the cleanse. And I forgot, let's look in the diaper because that's what I forgot to do. Let's see if little Miss Layla, after three years of numerous drinking wet feedings and doing an alcohol cleanse, let's see what's in her diaper. Ta-da! No mold. It's completely white in there. No black mold came out. So little Miss Layla, as I said, so far, every time I've done a cleansing with her, she never has any mold come out of her. So the drinking wet feedings, if you stick to water, you'll be fine. Change your baby's diaper afterwards. Keep them, you know, dry. Layla's bottom is fine also, which I ain't gonna show all that on camera, but she don't have no issues with her paint on her bottom either. So the alcohol cleansing is fine. As far as the paint is concerned, alcohol does not do anything to the paint or anything. The baby can get alcohol cleansing, you know, every so often that you want to do it, depending on how often and how much you feed them. Um, the alcohol cleansing is safe. So she is going to put on this little outfit with these little... It looks like denim bloomers and the back has a little ruffle. And this cute little top, it looks like a little dress with the little ruffly bib thing hanging down, whatever you call it, with the little spaghetti straps with the bow and it has a little button in the back of this to get it on. And this is a Old Navy outfit, Old Navy brand zero to three months very nice and cool cottony it has a little slip under there and this is all white the top with little red and blue flowers with a little yellow and pink on the flower so we're going to put this on her some of these old navy outfits layla can fit them in a size zero to three months if they're not real real big she can actually fit them because some zero to three months for Layla, some brands she can't fit zero to three months. They'd be too big on her. But I noticed the Old Navy brand, she can kind of fit it in zero to three months. So that's the little bloomers. I usually put stuff under her belly button, but you can put it over. It's like I be protecting her little belly button like she a real baby. <laughs> I don't like stuff touching it. I try to put the diaper under it like she a real baby, y'all. I like the cut out diapers to go under my baby belly button. I really do. Um, usually, I, if it's bloomers, I put it under her belly button, but I'm going to put it over it. It should be fine. 
<laughs> this my baby, y'all. I know she a dog, but this my baby. <laughs> this is my girl, right, Layla? That's mommy baby. So anyway, I just wanted to come on and just talk about that a little bit because the drinking wet is like such a controversial thing. Another controversial hot topic with the dolls. Some people vow they will never use it even if they doll have it. They refuse. They not going to use that drinking wet system because they scared because the baby going to get mold. So, and then other people is like, no, it's not going to get mold if you just give them water, you'll be fine. And then you got the other people that's like, oh, you can give them formula and just clean them out afterwards and they're going to be fine. So it's just such like a hot topic with the drinking wet um, systems in these dolls. Oh my goodness. I wanted a drinking wet system in my baby and I knew I was going to use it. I'm like, I'm paying extra for it and I'm going to enjoy it and I'm going to use it whenever I want to. And I use it. I do. I feed my babies. Whenever I feel like feeding them, I feed them and they are fine. I just stick to water like I said. So this is the back of her little bloomers. Now this would be cute if she had on her cloth nappy under here. So I might eventually put a cloth nappy on when I change her again later. I might switch it because I love the way the cloth diapers give them that little tushy in their clothes with the cloth diaper. But for now she has to get on a disposable. And this baby i will comb her hair because i know it's rooted well and it doesn't really it doesn't come out she hasn't lost any hair either over the three years but normally it's not recommended to really take a comb and comb a silicone baby's hair because it's not sealed on the inside and you don't want to pull out their hair because once you pull it out you can't put it back <laughs> So if you're not sure about your baby's hair, I wouldn't recommend combing it with a comb. But Layla's hair is rooted really deeply and she hasn't lost any hair. So I feel comfortable if I want to comb her hair, I do. Just to kind of fluff up her little baby curly afro, I'll comb it sometimes. And she's getting my favorite headband and my favorite sandals if i could find the other one here it is her little white sandals so if you are new which i didn't say that at the beginning of this video please subscribe so you will stop by when i do my next videos you'll get a notification click the notification bell so you'll know when i do a new video and if you would like to come and see this baby again please subscribe or you want to see some of my other babies please subscribe um also share my videos please we are almost at that 2000 to do that 2000 subscriber appreciation giveaway we almost there and there is miss layla in her outfit there she is guys um so yeah please share the video so we can get to that 2000 subscribers and if you would like to follow us on instagram my instagram link is always under my videos in the description you just click the link and it'll take you right over to my Instagram because I do post on Instagram even if I don't do videos a lot of times I'll post pictures of the babies on my Instagram so that is all for now and thanks for watching guys enjoy your weekend stay safe